Hi, hello guys. Before we move on, uh, let's congratulate our CLAT 2023 toppers. Uh, so here uh, we are here to congratulate AR2 uh, Sahil Gupta, AR37 Pratyush Chaturvedi and AR96 Komal Gadwal. And apart from these three, we had 70 plus NLU admits guys. So 70 plus people from an academy reaching out to NLU. So if you want to be one among them, all that you need to do is subscribe to an academy CLAT channel and do subscribe to an academy platform and attend our plus classes, take mock tests and you will be on the list. And this is not just happened in 2023 season. So we have done it in 2022 as well. So in 2022, we had 45 plus people attending uh, from an academy going to NLUs. And in 2023, we made it double close to 70 plus people going there. Hi, hello guys, I'm Kalyan Charan VSG. And in this video, we're going to deal with divisibility rules and let's understand what is divisibility and all of that and in previous video we have discussed what do you mean by divisibility rule and what is divisibility for the fact what is quotient what is reminder and all of that if you have missed that video please go back and see our previous videos and the description for those videos or the links of those videos is in the description box let's quickly start today's session and today we are going to understand what are the various divisibility rules so to start with what is divisibility? When can I say a number being divisible by another number? When, if I say 27 is divided with 5, is 5 divides 27 evenly? Or will 5 divides 27? So a quick question is why can't we divide? So we know that 5 goes how many times? 5 times 20 and 5.4 uh, is the result. Guys, yes, you are all correct. But when I divide 5 with 27, it goes 5 times, which is 25, and it leaves out a reminder 2. When can, when can I actually say that a number is divisible by another number is only when the reminder of a given number is 0. All right. So, if reminder is 0, then it is divisible. If reminder is not equal to 0, then it is not divisible. Now, for this 27 by 5, we can actually say that we can divide and check and then uh, check for the reminder and then get to know whether the number is divisible or not. But we cannot do it for every case, right? Every case scenario, some cases where we don't even need to know what is uh, the quotient or we need to do the entire division. Hence, the divisibility rule comes in. Now, quickly, what are the numbers that we start? And remember, 1 is a factor of every number, which means every number will be divisible by 1. Every number will be divisible by 1. So, for 2, how do I identify whether a number is divisible by 2 or not? For 2, remember, the last digit should be even. If the last digit of a number is even, what do you mean by even? It should be 0. Remember 0 is even. If the last digit is either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, right, then the number is divisible by even. Now, if I need to club similar patterns for 4, last two digits should be divisible by 4, which means last two digits should be from 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 8, so on, so forth till, till 96, till 4 into 20. So guys, if last two digits of a number is divisible by 4, then the entire number is divisible by 4. For 8, last three digits should be divisible by 8. Then we can say that the entire number is divisible by 8. For 8, last three digits should be divisible by 8. So if you club them, for 2, 4, 8, 
for 2 last digit should be even which means last digit should be divisible by 2 for 4 last two digits should be divisible by 4 for 8 last three digits should be divisible by 8 and if i say 5 what is the divisibility rule of 5 5 is last digit should be either 0 or 5 if the last digit is 0 or 5 then the number is divisible by 5 so i can club the divisibility rule of 1 and 5 for 1 the last digit should be 1 or every number will be divisible by 1 for 5 last digit should be 0 and 5 and for divisibility rule of 3 here it comes uh, the interesting part comes in for 3 you need to add the digits sum of the digits should be divisible by 3 if some of the digits of a number is divisible by 3 then the entire number is said to be divisible by 3 same goes with 9 if sum of digits are divisible by 9 then the entire number is divisible by 9 so we can club 3 and 9 rules together for 3 sum of digits should be divisible by 3 for 9 sum of digits should be divisible by 9 so we are done with 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 are missing 8 9 completed so we have done with all the one digit numbers except 6 and 9 for 6 the divisibility rule is it should be divisible by 2 and 3 so remember 6 is nothing but 2 into 3 so it should satisfy the divisibility rule of 2 and divisibility rule of 3 then it is divisible by 6 so remember for all composite numbers what are composite number guys go back to prime and composite video refer to it and come back and let me know so composite video or composite number is a number which has more than two factors for all the composite numbers if it satisfies the rules of its immediate prime factors right then the number is supposedly be divisible by that particular composite number for example for 12 it should satisfy the rule of 4 and 3 for 24 8 and 3 right so for any composite number it should satisfy the rule of its factors now let us come down to the rule of 7. For 7, I would say that there is a method called as successive division. So, the successive division is very simple. For example, if I say 96, we need to check whether 96 is divisible by 7 or not. So, what you need to do? You divide this how many times? If you are dividing it with how many times is the quotient? So, we are taking out the quotient here. So, how many times it goes? 7 ones are 7, 26, 7 threes are 21. So, 5 is left. So, remainder being 5. But again, you say go 7 with 13, right? And with 7 and 13, it goes one time and left with 6. Since the quotient here is 6 or the remainder here is 6, it is not divisible by 7 rather instead of successive division anyways you need to divide and check right so you can directly divide and check that it is not divisible am i clear with this guys so for 7 there is no such rule to identify for 7 there is no divisibility rule to identify whether a number is divisible by 7 or not because even in successive division you are dividing a number with 7 and checking right it's better to divide a number with 7 and check is its divisibility rule to be very honest now let's come down to the next number which is 11 11 has an interesting factor here for a number to be divisible by 11 the difference between alternate digits
the difference between sum of alternate digits should be 0 or 11 or multiples of 11. Am I clear with the rule? For 11, difference between alternate, sum of alternate digits should be either 0 or 11 or multiples of 11. For example, let us take 121. What are alternate digits? 1 plus 1 and its difference with the alternate digit 2 which is 0. Hence, 121 is divisible by 11. If I say 1331, is it divisible by 11? How do we check? We need to take alternate digits. Alternate digits is 1 plus 3 minus 3 plus 1. So, 4 minus 4, 0. Hence, even this is divisible by 11. So, for example, if there is a number called A, B, C, D, E, how do we check whether A, B, C, D, E is divisible by 11 or not? All that we need to do is we need to take alternate digit sum, which is A plus C plus E, its difference with B plus D should be either 0 or 11 or multiples of 11. If this is happening, then A, B, C, D, E is divisible by 11. So, these are the basic divisibility rules of uh, the numbers that exist and for any other number, it is always better to divide the given number by uh, the number given and get the things done. So, with this, we are coming uh, to a closure to this video and uh, please do uh, like, share, comment uh, on Academy CLAD and let us crack uh, CLAD 2024 and let us secure NLU admit.